just starting this series. My name is Karen Campbell and I'm doing a whole series on how to make awesome art videos for you. And today um, I'm going over episode four, which is basically how to get the movies and the recordings off of your camera or your phone and onto your computer so that you can start editing. Now, I generally always use my camera. This is actually not the camera that I use, but it could be. Um, and I need to get, you know, the things out of here and out of here and on to there. Now it can be a little confusing. I have an Android phone and I'm using, and I use a Mac computer. So they don't talk to each other as nicely as if I had an iPhone and I had a Mac because then I could share it over the cloud. But there's tons of workarounds. So don't let that stop you from recording and getting those movies off of your devices and onto your computer. So what I do if I am recording with, with my phone, which I do not recommend, but if you do, all you have to do is select the little movie clip that you made, okay? And then see that little share icon at the bottom. Let me pull that up. It's a little share icon at the bottom. Okay, if you hit that, if it would stop going away, that would be awesome. Okay, it brings up a whole variety of ways and things that you can share onto. So because I'm using a Mac again and I have an Android phone, I typically, well I have a couple of choices. I could unload it to my Dropbox. If you have a Dropbox account, you can add it to a Dropbox and then open Dropbox on your computer and just simply drag and drop the files off that way. Um, my Dropbox is full <laughs> at the moment, so I can't use that option. But a great easy option that works every time is to save it to your Google Drive. Okay, so if you have a Google account, and most people do, it's always free. If you don't have one, you can go make one. If you use a Gmail account or have a YouTube channel, you have a Google account by default. So you can save to Drive, which just simply says, save to drive right there and you can click that and it will save it to your drive. You click save and then when you go over to your computer, guess what? If you open Google Drive, you can select the video that you just imported and you can download it onto your computer. So you have to download it off of Google Drive and then you upload it into your editing software. So today I'm going to be showing you how to import it into iMovie and then in the next episode we will talk about the basic editing features. So if you have a, if you're doing all your recording on a camera, you take the wire that comes in your camera and say like I bought this one used so I don't have the original cord. These are all standardized options. You could even like take your camera to Best Buy, show them the little show them your input that you need and say, hey, I need a cable that matches the input of my camera. Do you sell that? They will say yes and you can grab one. So all you do is you plug your cable into the camera like this and the other end, okay, is just your standard USB and it plugs into one of the many switches on the back and if you have a PC you'll have the same options on your hard drive okay and then when I will when I go to iMovie or when you go to Movie Maker or whatever your software is I always plug it in when my camera is off and then when I turn the power on the camera my computer will automatically detect that there's a, a new technology that's connected there and it will allow you to select the videos that you want to download onto your computer. And so that's a direct download. And for me, that's always the easiest, quickest, surefire way to do it. Google Drive is a little, you need a little bit of patience. It takes a while to download those video files, especially if they're long. So I like to do this. Um, I can just go to file. If I open iMovie and go to file, import media, I turn my camera on and boop, those exact movies that I just took will automatically show up and I click on them and then they just get imported right into iMovie. So it's super easy. And in the next video, um, you can watch as I actually do that and we will start doing some basic editing um, 
elements like we're gonna do transitions and how to set up a title and get time lapse working and captions and um, all the all the fun bells and whistles. So I hope you join me in episode five and we will get going on that. Um, again, as a recap, these whole series of videos are going to be kept in a playlist on my YouTube channel as well as for free at awesomeartschool.com. So go ahead and sign up for easy access to that and I'll see you in episode five. Thanks.